That's it from the junior high. Now to the Weather Center with Jennifer Waldner. Jennifer? Thanks, Christy. First, we'll take a look at the National Satellite Map. As you can see, most of the cloud movement in the nation is making an eastward movement. And that's the main reason that we've been having all the rain from last night and today is because of this cloud cover. And hopefully by this weekend, the clouds should move in through Florida. Now at the weather across the nation. Up in the northwestern part of the country, they've been experiencing a lot of rain showers. And in the central part of the country, we've been experiencing mostly sun. Down in Texas, we've been having some rain showers, as well as up through this area. And in Florida, they've also been having rain showers and a little bit of sun. And up the east coast, has been mainly sunny. Now let's take a look at the national highs. Up in Washington, they had highs of 50s. Down in California, highs of 80s. In Arizona, highs of 90s. And in Texas, as well as in most of the country, we've been having highs of 70s. Over in Florida, they're having highs of 80s. And up down the east coast, they've been having highs of 60s and 70s. And now let's take a look at the forecast for next week. Over on the western part of the country, we'll probably be having temperatures below normal for this time of the year. And in Texas, as well as in most of the rest of the country, we'll be having temperatures above normal. And in this area right here, we'll be having temperatures that are much higher than the average for this time of the year. And now let's take a look at the local conditions. Today we had a low temperature of 61 and a high of 78. The barometric pressure is 30.03 and rising, and the rainfall for this month has been 1 100th of an inch. And for our weather fact today, several cold air funnel clouds were seen near Tulsa, Oklahoma Wednesday. They rarely cause damage. That's the weather for today, and now we go to the sports desk with Jason Candy. Jason? Thanks, Jennifer. Last Thursday, the Varsity Boys track team competed at the Tomball High School track meet. Friends have placed third out of 12 teams with 85 points. Top winners for the Mustangs included Eric Rowe, second in the high jump and first in the 110 high hurdles. Edward Bernard, second in the 300 intermediate hurdles and third in the 110 high hurdles. Ben Tolliver placed first in the pole vault. Richard Cameron had third in the 200 and the shuttle hurdle relay team of Chad Coors, Jason Styler, Richard Cameron, and Eric Rowe placed third. Rowe finished, with the, finished the meet with a total of 21 points. Both the 1600 and 1600 relay were canceled due to lightning and rain. A new tradition has been taking place at the Friendswood Friends Church. Open gym is a time for a different type of basketball. I went to see what it was about, and this is what I found out. On every Tuesday and Thursday nights at 8 o'clock, there is a gathering at the Friendswood Friends Church to play and pick up basketball games. It starts by shooting free throws to the side of the teams. The first five to make them make up one team, and the next five to make them make up the other team. He played at 25 points. The people sitting out come in and play the winners. The winning team can only play a maximum of two games in a row. You say, what happens when a lot of people show up? Then it breaks down to the members and the guests of the members. Rules you are also wondering about. Simply none. No number of fouls are kept. When you're fouled, you just check the ball at midcourt. No scoreboard is ran. You keep it amongst yourself. You just simply tighten your knee braces and get tough. When it's all said and done, people are gasping for breath, and everybody is back to friends. And you wait till the next night. Reporting on the open gym at the Friendswood French Church, this has been Jason Candy, MCS News. Last Monday, the boys' varsity golf teams placed fifth in the Clear Creek Invitational. Leading the Mustangs was sophomore Jason Garden, who shot a 79, John Michael an 84, Ty Hall an 85, and Toby Taft shot an 88. In the JV tournament, Scotty Coyle took home a medalist honors with a score of 81. On the next day, the girls placed third in the Pasadena Invitational. The Lady Mustangs were led by Krista Kolkors, who shot an 84, placing third. Jenna Gowen shot a 90, Captain Harvey shot a 100, and Susie Hale shot a 118. The Mustangs and Lady Mustangs will be competing in the district meet next Monday and Tuesday. The FHS tennis teams are busy practicing for their upcoming district tournament next week. Friends will be hosting this competition, which will feature doubles divisions A and B categories along as singles divisions A and B. The top two winners from both doubles and singles categories will advance to regionals to be held in Huntsville on April 22nd through the 27th. The team has high expectations for spring tennis tournament because in the fall tennis, they won first place and district and advanced to regionals. You can watch, tennis, you can watch the tennis section live on Channel 31 next Tuesday and Wednesday. Recapping the baseball team's week, last Thursday they hosted the Channel View Falcons. The game was a seesaw fair throughout the game. The Falcons got off to an early lead in the second inning. 
but Ryan Edwards, Scott Sullivan, and Mark Worthy all got hits, and Sullivan and Worthy drove in RBIs to give the Friendswood a 3-1 lead. After more action, it came down to the bottom of the seventh, the Mustangs were trailing. It was to no avail as the Mustangs could not capitalize off of Ryan Edwards' fifth home run of the year. Tuesday, they traveled to Santa Fe. They lost 9-8. Mark Worthy pitched six innings, giving up five runs. In the seventh inning, Worthy gave up two hits, hit a batter, and then Brian DeQuere came in and blocked in a run, hit a batter, and gave up a hit. The Indians came back to win 9-8. And don't forget to join us tomorrow night at 8 o'clock so you can catch the replay of the Friends with the Mark game. That will be play-by-play -by, -play by myself and Mr. Hahnemann, and that's it for sports. Let's go back to Adam. I hope the uh, teams do a lot better this time. I hope so, after losing 29 last game. Thanks a lot, Jason. And finally, starting tomorrow at 7 p.m., and then on Saturday and Sunday at 3 and 7 p.m., MCS presents a panel discussion and a special year-round video, video on year-round education. If you have ever wondered what all the talk is about, around, about year-round education, Tune in to Channel 31 this weekend at 3 and 7 for the load lowdown on the year-round education. That's our program for this week. Join us again next Thursday at 5 when Friendswood Update continues. Good night, David.